Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here, bringing you a new tutorial, and I'm pleased to announce and introduce to you Rhythmic's new mobile trading app. This can be used from the go, and it's a great way to monitor your positions or take a look at the market while you're away from your computer or your primary trading platform. Uh, this will suffice as a great alternative for those who are on the go often or need to keep up on things. Now we would like to know, and in our opinion, any mobile device operation such as this trading platform is subject to the strength of your cell network. You could be in areas where your cell network is not operational or may not have signals, which could potentially cause the inability to execute orders or positions or even send multiple orders at the same time. So just please keep in mind when using this, we suggest having a good cell, you know, cell reception or connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, you're responsible for all your trades and executions and any deficits you may incur. So please keep that in mind when using this platform. Now I do want to give you a brief walkthrough of the new software that Rhythmic has released and we'll also be releasing a couple follow-up videos just to, you know, narrow in on the individual features themselves. So as you can see here, this is the login screen of the software. Um, first, if you are a demo user, you're going to want to choose the Rhythmic paper trading option. If you are a live user, you'll be choosing Rhythmic 01. And as you can see, there are some other options as well for uh, specific trading accounts. So if you fall under any of those categories, you could choose those options as well. And then you want to also want to choose your gateway. So typically you want to choose the server that's closest to your physical location. By default, it is set to the Chicago area, but you can see there are other options as well. Once you have your login credentials entered in, uh, you could also straight from the home screen choose whether you want a dark or a light theme and then you could also choose some cool color options as well by clicking on these little colorful bubbles at the bottom of the sign in screen. Once you have those preferences set up and your login details entered in go ahead and click sign in. Here's what the home screen looks like by default you may see a couple stocks or you may see you know your favorites board you could add new symbols to your favorites list by clicking on the plus button in the top left. Simply type in the product you're interested in. So for example, if you trade the ES, you'll type in the name of the contract, followed by a dot, and then the exchange it's associated with. So for example, like I mentioned, if you trade the ES, you'll just simply type in E, S, dot, CME, in all capitals. Once you have that entered in, press the plus button, and I've already done this, but if you scroll down now, you're going to see that exact product. You'll see live quotes here. You'll see a little chart and we'll get into it later, but you could also see and monitor your positions directly from this window. So that's how you add contracts to your quote board here. If there's something you've added or that you don't want to see, you can simply click the X button in the top right of it to condense down. So in my opinion, it might be a good idea to only have the contracts you're either currently trading or want a quick glance at of the market. Uh, that way you could efficiently scroll down to it and get to the product that you're interested in rather than scrolling through all these different contracts, especially if you're trading live. Now you can also, there's some customization options you can do by clicking the little cog wheel in the top left of your symbol. So for example, to the left of ES.CME, there's this cog wheel here or the gear. There is a confirm actions button. So essentially, if you're in a trade, um, this is almost like one click trading if you disable it. Otherwise, you will have a confirmation screen when you go to place your orders or, you know, change things around. You could also adjust how the PL is displayed. So right now it's set to automatic. You could set it to open PL, total PL, or you can disable PL entirely. And then here's also your default quantity. So by default, it's set to one. If you trade multiple lots or, you know, want to have this set to a specific quantity, you could do so by clicking these buttons, um, either the plus, you know, to add the big plus or the big minus to add or subtract 10, or you can do the little plus or the little minus to do quantities of one. Now there are some other options in the main menu. This is a little hamburger icon in the top left of your platform. You can also see these same symbols that I mentioned in your watch list here. If you'd like to organize them quickly, you can click the A, Z buttons at the top to sort them by alphabetical order, as you can see I'm doing here. 
Uh, you can also at, click that plus button in the bottom to re-add your symbols if you'd like. And again, there's some more options at the top here. Uh, you can click on this cogwheel again. Similar options to the main login screen that we saw. You can add transparency, so essentially change the opacity of the different menu icons. If you want a solid menu, you could do so by turning it off. Or if you want to see what's going on in the background at the same time, click it on, and that way everything's a little bit transparent. Again, dark and light mode is here. And you can also change the text and the font size in the font style. You can see them down here, so just simply click on the one you'd like, and that's going to be set to your default. Same thing with the size as well. Now, in other videos, we will show you what it looks like to use this in combination with the live trading software. In this video, we just wanted to give a brief rundown of things. So again, um, right now, our account does not have any positions on it currently. You can see that here. There's three dots on the bottom of each little panel for your positions, or excuse me, for the products themselves. So for example, the first dot, as you can see, shows a brief overview of your market. Uh, it shows you the price, the change in price. There's buy and sell buttons directly through here. You can see your P&L, which is at $0 in green right now. Of course, if it's negative P&L, it'll show in red. Um, even or positive will show in green. And then you could also see your positions in your working orders represented by the little shopping cart and that bag icon. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, you have your chart at the bottom. You can swap through using the different time frames that they have preset here for you. If you scroll over to the next dot, you essentially get yourself a trading ladder or a dome, very similar to the one that's on the RTrader software itself. Um, you know, you can simply scroll up and down on the market price, and then you can buy, sell, reverse, cancel, or cancel all and flatten all with these three convenient buttons down here. And then, of course, if it is not transparent enough on the little home screen, you can call it, of your uh, widget here, you can scroll over to the right, and again, you could see the contract you're trading, the price change, and then you can verify as well more clearly whether you have any working orders or completed orders or positions. If you want to buy or sell, again, you can click on the corresponding buy or sell buttons, or you can scroll over to the dome and do so here. For example, if I go ahead and click on buy, as you can see, I can go ahead, I check my balance, I check my open fill price if there is any other positions, and then I can set up my orders here. So M is market, L is limit. And you can see, you can just, again, click on those plus or minus buttons. Big plus, big minus is by 10. Um, or excuse me, in this case, it's almost uh, one point. Or you can click the little buttons to just do it by ticks. There's SL, which is stop limit, and SM, which is stop market. So you can simply click your market order, click buy, as you can see, we've been filled. We have a position. We can see that in the little blue bag. Uh, we can see my PL currently fluctuating. As I mentioned, if it's red, we're in the minus. Um, if it's green, we're either positive or even. If I want to reverse my position, like I said, you can click reverse position. Now you can see we're on the other side of the market. We're now positive. Um, and if I have any working orders or I just want to get out, I can click the cancel all flatten button. Or, of course, I could also click the sell button to get out as well. So that's just a little brief rundown of the RTrader Pro mobile app. These cover main, most of the features. We're going to create individual videos as well for in-depth guides on you know each individual feature themselves. So I hope this gave you a pretty good start on the platform. Again, this is very new, still being tested and I'm sure there's going to be new features to be released, but we hope this was a good intro uh, to start you off on our Trader Pro's mobile app. So we hope this video helped. If you have any questions, of course, you can put them down in the comment section below, like always, or we encourage you to come over to our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com, and feel free to take a look at those other videos I mentioned uh, for individual and specific features.